you tanking up for the day? Did you get you some good water? Oh, big stretch. Hi, Morris. Good boy. <laughs> good morning, everyone. I'm out here doing my thing, checking on the state of the aphids. And I have to say that there's next to none on these two. And the far uh, curly one down there on the end. It's really hard to check the red one because it's so dark and it's so low to the ground. Um, and this guy, you know, the, the insecticidal spray was really effective. Um, there's still a lot up there that are dead. So I haven't been messing with it too much because it's hard to tell. But I'll check it over too. Anyway. Hopefully next year the aphid problem won't be quite so bad. Probably will be though. All the kitties are here. I'll just get ahead of it next year before it gets out of control maybe. Um, and doing well. And um, I'm enjoying my new look out here this morning. <laughs> so I told Donnie's off the hook on walking today because I need to mow the front yard. And I want to plant the plants we got at Lowe's last night. And I do have boxes to put away the last of the little Easter stuff that I had. That won't take long. And I want to plant the, you know, like I said, all the plants, the stuff for out at the mailbox and the stuff up in the yard. And there's always weed pulling and other stuff. I want to get to Legos. I haven't clicked a brick in like five or six days out of sheer exhaustion from doing other stuff. But I would like to today a little bit, so chicken wings for dinner we had leftovers the last two nights thank god for leftovers i was too tired to do anything but um yeah so i'm gonna be out in the yard have a busy day and uh, i told don i need stuff from upstairs in the garage um, the blue fa fountains brought down, things brought down. So every time he gets up to stretch his legs and use the bathroom, if he would walk the stairs to the garage one time for me, that would be super, super helpful. Let's see. Well, the peony we dug up doesn't look damaged. The hydrangea doesn't. Um, I would say that the geraniums I potted from, you know, pieces that I trimmed back off of a Langley one from under the house are looking good this morning. And this ground cover, I don't think you can kill it. It looks good, too. Take a few days to stand up, turn around, do its thing. Supposed to be 89 here today. 89! I didn't say that was okay. <laughs> cool back off for the weekend but we're having a little early warm snap here so I'm going to be mowing early and um, I'll have to really make sure everything is watered like these hollies haven't been watered recently. I did water the um, little uh, cypress trees and things around the side yesterday but yeah. You going to keep me company Marty and Scratch? How about you, Tux? You gonna keep me company today? I'm gonna need company. Hey, buddy. Hi. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna bloom this year or come back. We'll keep putting fertilizer on it. We'll try. And if not, it's not looking promising in a month, I'll replace it. Yeah, if I get out here pretty quick, I'll be in the shade for most of the front yard. It gets really hard to cut it even and <laughs> do a good job when it's all um, half shade, half sun. The shadows, it's, it makes it a little more difficult. That's my good boy. Good morning, Gray. Hi, sweetheart. Whoops. Whoops, I'm sorry. Let me get that out of your way. I'm sorry. It makes a lot of noise. Good morning. See, he's not walking today, but that doesn't mean he's not exercising. This is... No credit. I've got my watch. Oh, that's not my fault. Here, I'll be going to run and get your watch for you. Can't have you not having credit. <laughs> yeah, this is... Uh, 
uh, we'll call it rest break number one. Yeah, today. I might not have made it clear last night, but this stuff is going to the mailbox, and we grabbed the pots from the mailbox last night so I could repot them up here, and then Don will help me get them down to the mailbox on one of his subsequent breaks today. So I remember my FedEx package didn't show up Saturday then show up Sunday but at least I had an update that it was out for delivery today there's the front yard much better for a few days and then it grows and then we get to do it all over again <laughs> so I am trying to mow the front yard and it's getting sunnier and sunnier and sunnier I know this because it's not my first rodeo with the front yard hey stripey and um then I had Don set me up over here to um to do the plants and now the sun's moving over here <laughs> it won't take me very long though and I have my hat on now I have lots of helpers okay these guys are ready to go down to the mailbox I didn't spend a lot of time cleaning the pots because the first time it rains all of that dirt's just gonna kick back up on the sides of them so hopefully the flowers will spill over the side and when they're on the ground, you won't see how dirty they are. <laughs> Don was out and he brought me some more of my yard art to my fairy garden stuff to put it out. Um, I'm headed to the big flag over there to put impatience in that pot. And I forgot to do that pot yesterday, but it was new last year, so I don't think it'll be a big deal. Begonias over here. This pot is ready for something. I usually put a hibiscus in it or a mandevilla or something they never do very good though so maybe i should try something different this year impatience over here and i realize it's full sun right now but that's because that tree is not leafing out really quick hopefully they'll be okay they loved it there last year but yeah and here's the other um impatience I split up that hosta into four, so that's just a piece of it. Hopefully it'll do good over here. I am, uh, I should stick something else in this pot over here besides pieces of Japanese maple on a prayer and, um, the creeping Jenny, but I don't know. This pot needs fresh creeping Jenny. Maybe it was too dark for it over there or something periwinkle or something i do that to keep the squirrels from digging as a deterrent to the squirrels there's uh, like three more pots that are already prepared to put plants in over here in the backyard and then i think i'm done in the backyard i've got those pieces of yard art don carried down to put out yay right they sure look pretty yeah it was just easier to bring them to the house. There were so many roots in those pots. I had to dump the dirt out, pull the pull the roots out of the rock bag, break everything up. It was just no way they were going in the pot without a full repot. I understand. And no, I don't know what I'm putting in that little pot behind the mailbox, but I'll figure it out. Yeah. Well, looks real pretty, sweet Pete. Thank you for getting them for me, Donnie. We'll water them now that they're down here. Marty just came out from the ferns. The two boys have stayed pretty close to each other today, I suspect, because of me. That's probably FedEx. UPS has come. I think this must be FedEx. That's right. We can hope. Well, thanks for letting me catch my breath and rest up with you. He's a good girl, aren't you? Yeah. There's Tux. Here's... Marty and Morris and Stripey. Everybody's just hanging out trying not to be too hot. Don got off of work at a reasonable time and he's headed under the house to do that plumbing repair. Well since FedEx showed up with my um, white filament today, my 3D filament, I was able to kick off the skeleton. Now this thing is going to take forever because of the black and the white mix, but um, it's going strong. I've wanted to work on this for days now. I 
technically think I have the rest of the pieces to do the final touches on the carousel, but I just carousel, but I just really want to start this. Dawn's still under the house at 6:30. I've got chicken wings to cook. I'm going to throw some in the air fryer and I'm going to at least do one bag of this guy because I'm just determined today. Just determined. It's only 654 pieces, but he's pretty good size. So it'll be interesting to see um, how it goes. Nice reclosable flip top box. Most of them are not like this. I wonder if he'll actually fit in there when built. Probably not, but maybe. Bag one has the most pieces. Two, three, four, and five. So I'll try to do one tonight and at least one a day, one bag number a day until I get her done. Yeah, bag one builds the torso, two the legs, three the arms, four the head, and five finishes him off. There's a little scene underneath the head. So about five's building the hat in the little scene. And the fan is me making the chicken wings. All right, bag one uh, went pretty quick. It goes like this. You can see the little axle sticking out there for the arms. And down at the bottom for the legs. Plex three quarter three quarter with a half inch T, and I put my um, flare it onto the Plex pipe. This will go to the T. I'll cut that to the appropriate length. You know, when, I don't know how long to make it. This part right here will go onto the the polybutyl pipe. I've hand tightened it. It's a lot easier. To do this out here where I can get a good grip on it and everything is hand tight so I'm very happy with that so hopefully um, I can get the, this on and then I'll, like I said I will cut this uh, to the length I need and then uh, I've got two polybutyl to three quarters so uh, the polybutyl goes on the gray end and then the plex and I got three quarter inch pipe here so you know I, I don't want to say this because I don't want to jinx, my, jinx myself, but honestly, if it takes more than 20 minutes to do this, you know, I've, I've screwed something up. Well, there's the leak right there. And you can probably see the drip forming, and there it went. And this is since this time yesterday. It's not that much. Uh, about three inches of water in there. And uh, that's looking better. Uh, that was wet yesterday uh, That blue top. I think the water blew in from that vent over there We had a real windstorm and a rainstorm So I'm gonna go on that assumption I'll keep an eye on it because I got to come back down in here tomorrow Day after or whatever to figure it out uh, the thing about this is this is the this copper pipe right here is the cutoff valve for the whole house. This is the output of the cutoff valve so I have to cut the water off to the entire house, which is not a problem because I've got that thing over there to do that. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. Well, there it is. The flex it, flare it coupling to plex. Little piece of plex up, half inch plex up to the T. And then of course uh, the polybutyl adapter to the plex. And ditto over here. And I got that little clamp there. I gotta tell you, I understand now why they make one of these things that slides back and forth. Uh, uh, I, they make such a thing. I can actually understand why, because it, it, it was tight. Uh, I was able to pull the pipe. A, you, know, you don't wanna put no strain on any of these fittings, but I I think I got it all right. So I guess uh, the, the key thing is uh, 
We turn the water on and watch for leaks. Well, water's on. So far, I don't see any leaks. Uh, like I said, I will have to keep an eye on this, check it tomorrow, uh, you know, like that. And hopefully uh, she'll be continue to be watertight. I have to say, I told you 20 minutes, that's probably about what it did. Uh, I had to go get a hammer to get that claw, that pry that uh, clamp up. But I didn't break the clamp, and as you can see, I was able to reuse it. So that's really good, because, you know, this sharp bite stuff, that's not lightweight. And I don't want it tugging on this copper here. As you can see, I don't know what you call that uh, over the years, but... It's not really a leak, but it's seeping, or maybe, who knows. Um, uh, I'm happy right now. So, I'm going to see how sensitive this ring camera is out here. This is the new one. Let's see if the overhead floodlight or it lights up. I can see the red lights. It sees me. Oh, she may not have the... I don't think she has the uh, thing programmed. The blue light means it saw me. You know, it knows I'm here. Oh, there it is. Well, that isn't. I mean, it's pretty bright and everything, but it isn't. That one over there, man, it really, she might have the sensitivity clank cranked up on that one. But as you can see, this one hasn't came on yet. I have to get pretty close to this one. And it will finally, there it goes. It finally comes on. So, anyway. I guess, uh. I'll have her check the sensitivity on the app. But, but this, uh, you know, it's pretty well lit up. I I have a driveway alert. And I want to hook that driveway alert, because wireless, up to the, um, um, smart things. Uh, they have automation routines. And I can uh, hook it up. And uh, I can have the turn the floodlights on at night whenever that driveway alert comes on. I'm, I'm going to do that. It's, it's on the list. So I'll come out here to check this thing. It's changing colors right now. You can see it's making quite a bit of a poop here. It's um, it won't be done till about 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Those things are going to get like five inches tall, or this one over here. I think that one's almost done. The, the one on the left almost done. It's just building up a ring. But the the one on the right, it's going to be I, I, I'm going to say five inches tall.